what are your thoughts for manifesting weight loss and being okay where I am now? What kind of affirmations do you recommend? Well, so being okay right now is really important, right? That's what body positivity is, right? Even though we don't have the desired physique we want, we're still good enough and worthy and lovable, right? Because a lot of us, we court, we tie in our self-worth and our self-esteem with how we look. So body positivity is about, even though I don't have the ideal body right now, I'm still worthy of being loved. Listen, I would tell myself this when I had little extra fat back rolls. <laughs> I would be like, you know what? Even with my fat back rolls, I'm still worthy and sexy and desirable. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if I look like this now or I'm at my ideal weight, I'm still worthy and lovable and desirable, right? And you just really persist in a story like that, a story similar to that until you know that and you've accepted that as truth for you. And then for manifesting weight loss, again, so what is the version of you if you had the weight loss? What is the version of you if you looked in the mirror and you were like, holy fuck, I did it, right? What's the story you'd be perceiving? Who are you identifying with? Is it just, I am loving my body. I have my dream body. You know, I shared in the, one of the other lives, my story of how I got my weight nine years ago was I wanted to work out. So I identified myself as a strong fit, lean woman. Like that's who I am. And so I exercise. I'm not saying you have to work out, but I'm saying like, what is your version for you of what it means to have your dream body. Are you just someone who's naturally fit, right? Are you someone who just has a high metabolism? Are you someone who loves fucking yoga and you're a fucking yoga woman who, you know what I mean? Like decide for you what it is you want and then you persist in that story that this is who I am. So what I did was once I identified who I wanted to become, I would ask myself, okay, well, what is this fit, lean, strong version of me think when it comes to food and her food choices? What does this fit, lean, strong version of me think about when it comes to working out and things like that, right? So you can do this even if you're someone who's like, well, I don't really want to exercise. I just want to naturally lose the weight like without doing anything really extra. Okay, so then what does that look like for you? Who's that version of you? What does she think about when it comes to food? What does she think about when it comes to her metabolism? What does she think about when it comes to uh, how her body spends energy naturally, right? Like, what does she think about when it comes to her body um, in the sense of how it looks for her? So you just got to decide who do you want to be and then figure out, well, how does that version think and equate to food, calories, her body, her choices, things like that. And then you make it match the version you desire to be, you know, somebody who's naturally thin that doesn't work out ever has never really had to like watch their weight or do anything because they just have like a naturally high metabolism. They're typically people that just assume because they already know their experience and who they are, their self identity subconsciously is like, I'm fit. Like I'm naturally thin. Like I always have the physique I want. Like weight is never an issue for me. Right. They don't sit here and obsess and worry about dropping that 10 pounds, 20 pounds or whatever, because that's not the reality they've been in. So they have a completely different mindset. Somebody who works out, it's the same thing. Like they don't sit there and harp. They look at food as nutrition. They can splurge once in a while. It's more for fuel, right? They look at, um, the kind of exercise they like to do, they start like, for me, I love to heavy weight train. So I would not identify as like a runner because I don't do that. I've tried that. It's not my thing. Right. So again, it's just knowing who do you want to be? And then what's the story of all of that? And you just persist in it until you become it and you will become it. I promise. That's how it works. You just don't give up because it doesn't manifest. And sometimes it's knowing, you know, sometimes it can take a little bit longer than others. Uh, other things we're manifesting. It really depends on each individual person and each individual, just your belief system and, and how often you work on it and things like that. Oh, good, Mimi. I love that. She's finishing up her coaching course and would love to learn NLP to add to your arsenal. Oh, good. Maritz is the best. I'm telling you. Um, the best coaches also have awesome coaches. I learned. Yes. We see, this is a thing. How the fuck am I going to ask somebody to invest in their, themselves and coaching and I don't do that for me? You see what I'm saying? Like as a therapist, I always had a therapist because, and I surrounded myself, you always surround yourself, you're supposed to at least like, you're supposed to surround yourselves, especially if you're in private practice with like 
a team of therapists that you can connect with so you can talk about cases and things, obviously without breaking confidentiality, but where you may need support because you don't ever want to be in the ego that you know all the fucking answers, right? And just having that support. And if you're going through something in your personal life, then you would go to it. If you need a support, you would go to another therapist or a coach to work through it. So it doesn't interfere with you being a therapist, right? As a coach, you would want to find other mentors in, you know, the coaching industry that you are learning from and aspiring to be like, or whatever, right. That's resonating with you that have more than you that are doing what it is you want to do. And you learn from them. Right. And that's what I do. I'm always finding amazing coaches and I'll, I'll spend the money. I don't care because it's just helping me become a better person mindset. And then I have support and then I can share it with my clients. Right. So I agree. I think anything we do in life, you should always be working on yourself. I mean, that's how you just get better at everything, in my opinion. All right, guys, we love you. And remember, if you want to get those freebies and any of those other things I mentioned, it's in go. If you go to Instagram and YouTube and hit the link tree thing, it'll pull it all up for you. All right. We love you. 